Hello my lovely fart faces. I have decided to film my whip and chat. Today is Friday, October something, and I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Let's open up mail before we get started on that. Let's open up a package that I got from my friend Dawn. So Dawn, here's your package. I'm trying to not show your address. So let's open this up. Our address is on both sides. So a whip and chat, if you're new here, um, a whip and Oops, whatever. A whip and chat is basically a uh, work in progress and chat. So pull out whatever you're working on and listen and maybe just watch this first bit because I want to open up this present that I got from Dawn. Let's see what's in here. Oh my goodness. Dawn! Oh my goodness, Dawn! Okay, so let's look at <laughs> Pusheen <laughs> Bevby. So, you have the thanks. Okay, I'm going to read this off camera. Ah, uh, thank you so much, Dawn. Ah, uh, that's okay. Thank you. I love Pusheen. Let's see what this is. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. A ghost pop socket and I don't have a I would show you but I'm filming with my phone I don't actually have a pop socket on this case that I'm using so thank you so this just goes to the attached to the back of your phone that is so adorable thank you so much and I love this Pusheen oh he's a little unicorn I love Pusheen seriously seriously how did you know how did you know I like Pusheen I actually collect Pusheens. Um, I would collect like the little small, the hard ones. And this is my second plush that I have from Pusheen. The first one, my ex-boyfriend bought me and I was holding a piece of pizza and then I donated it because hi, it's from an ex-boyfriend. So this is really nice though. I'm so happy. Thank you so much, Dawn. That's so sweet of you. Seriously, seriously. And Dawn is one of my patrons. Um, she lives in Singapore, so that's awesome. This came so far, like, just to come to me. So thank you so much, Don. I really appreciate it. I love both of these things. They're so adorable. Okay, so let's put, we're going to put the Pusheen aside. Go over here. Put him on top of my drills. Thank you for the sweet card and the kind words as well. That really means a lot. I'm going to keep that. I do keep my cards and stuff from you guys. So anyways, okay. So thank you, Dawn. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just very excited about my presence. Um, okay, so let's put this on here. I'm going to be using a crystal tray. It says, does it say crystal trays? It doesn't say crystal trays. Crystal, your tray doesn't say crystal trays. But this is a crystal tray, and I'm going to be using a variety of pens. Uh, these pens, if you want to know what, where I got one in particular, I will let you know. These two, I don't remember where they're from. I, I'll just tell you now. This is from Enablers Outpost, and this is from Diamond Painting Pen Pal. Okay, okay. These two were gifts, and I don't know where they're from. I, I have it written down somewhere, but anyways, okay. So I'm working on my Oraloa canvas. Look how sparkly it is. I don't know if you can actually tell through the screen, but... It's so sparkly because there's so many ABs. Seriously, look at this. There's like a ton of ABs. Um, this one is called, what is this called? Does it say on the canvas? It doesn't say what this painting is called, does it? Oh, this is called Sweetie and it's from Oraloa. So if you are interested in this canvas, I highly recommend it. It's really fun to work on and it's very, very shiny. If you like shiny things, this is the canvas for you. So let me get out some drills and then we'll get started with the whipping chat. Let's do this color. How are you guys doing? I hope that you had a really great week. I had a okay week, an okay week. There is some bad news at the beginning of the week. We celebrated, have I talked to you guys since Thanksgiving? We celebrated Thanksgiving on Sunday at my sister's house, and that was really fun. We had turkey. She ended up ordering catered turkey, so she didn't actually have to cook anything, which is, like, the smart way to do it. Honestly, like, if someone was like, can you prepare turkey dinner for the family? I'd be like, no, because <laughs> that's, that's a lot of work. So we just ordered catering. 
and there was turkey, there was stuffing, there was um, Brussels sprouts. I really like Brussels sprouts. There was cabbage rolls even, and there was there was cake. We had um, some sort of what was it? It was a red velvet cake. It was really good actually. I really liked it. I could have literally sat down and ate that whole cake because it was that good. And then what else was there? There was Oh, did I mention the buns? They're like these flaky buns. And I love bread. I'm a total bread carb person. And I love it. So I think I ate four buns. Don't tell anyone. But honestly, I'm like, why do I work out if, I, if I'm if i going to own to, like, the point of working out is so I can eat food that I like. Well, that's the point of working out for me. I'm sure for other people, it's like, I would like to get fit. I'd like to lose weight. Well, I'd also like to lose weight, but I also like, I would like to eat what I want to eat. So there's that. Um, and it was fun with the nephews. We made little, little, what are they called? Turkey. I was like, what are they called? Little turkeys out of construction paper. And then after dinner, we took a walk around the block to look at everyone's Halloween decorations. And like seeing things through kids' eyes is so it's very neat. It still doesn't make me want children because I'll just steal my nephews when I want, when I feel like hanging out with kids. Um, but yeah, and it was like funny because today at boot camp this morning, um, this person was telling me about like this couple goes together to boot camp and the husband was telling me like, yeah, we have four boys and one girl and just like, it's like a soup kitchen in the morning. And he was just like telling me about like their morning process and stuff, like just small talk type thing. And then the wife came and she, and he was like, oh, do you have any children? And I was like, no. And I was like, I don't want any. And then she was like, oh, really? You don't want kids? And I was just like, I already knew what she was going to say. Like, oh, you're young. You'll change your mind. And it's like, no. Because um, people think that I'm like in my 20s, but I'm not in my 20s. I'm like in my late 30s. Oh, my God. I can't believe I said that out loud. But I'm in my late 30s. I'm 36. So I think that like if I wanted children, I would have decided by now. And I like for as long as I could remember, I didn't want children. So uh, there's that. Um, but it was fun hanging out with my nephews. I think I might go back and hang out with them during Halloween. I might help my sister and her husband take them trick-or-treating. That should be fun. I'm not dressing up, so don't ask me what I'm going to dress up as because literally I do not want to dress up. I, I just do not. Um, what would I dress up as? I don't know. I would probably be myself and then people would be like, oh, what are you dressed up as? And I'd be like a bitch. <laughs> I'm a bitch for Halloween. Um, and um, a musical is coming to Edmonton. And this girl that I know is putting together, like she put together the press release and stuff like that. And she made a mistake in one of the dates because she was like, tickets are on sale October, October, whatever, uh, 2022. And I was like, I think you meant to write 2021. Like I just responded really quickly to her email. And she's like, oh, she's like, congrats for you being the one who reads really closely and she's like you don't happen to be into musicals do you and then I was like I was like yeah I am actually I was just talking about uh, checking out like how much tickets were and blah 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 and she's like well how about um you do some influencer work for me and I'll comp you and I was like okay so I get to just as an influencer influencer I hate that word Katie if you're watching this I know you hate that word too diamonds and washi does not like that word so if you see her make sure you call her an influencer or comment on her videos and call her an influencer um but yeah I hate that word um so I get to depending on what the the criteria is I'll just like throw up some tweets maybe do some Instagram posts on my other in, on like my personal Instagram and um, I'll get free tickets to Anastasia, the Broadway musical, which is really cool. I don't know if Clayton, like we don't know his schedule. So it's in January. So I'll probably ask my friend Nikki if she wants to go or my friend Libby. But Libby just had a baby, so she might not be wanting to go because I don't know. Do you want to leave your baby to go watch a musical? Who knows? Maybe by then she'll get sick of her baby and want to go and spend some time with an adult. I don't I don't know how these things work. Um, oh, I'm getting a new tattoo. 
uh, I haven't, I don't have, the artwork is on my phone, but literally this girl who did my moth tattoo is doing a Halloween special and she, so she drew out a bunch of flash of like a bunch of different designs. And then there is a four eyed cat. It's like one of those Sphinx cats and it was, has four eyes. And I was like, okay, I need to get that. I need this as a tattoo. So I emailed her and I put the deposit down. So that will be most likely happening in December. And look how messy I am. I just realized how messy I am. Let's see if we can find these drills homes. Um, okay, so let's see. Oh, right here. They can go here. Pretty sure that's the right color. Uh, what else was I going to talk about? Oh, yesterday was Jenny's Live. That was really fun. I wasn't really feeling myself and like I was kind of, I just feel gross and stuff. So I was like, oh, Jenny, I don't think I'm going to participate in your live because she had a whole bunch of people. Um, I'm talking about the Uncrafty Crafter, if you didn't know. If you don't follow her, definitely give her a follow. I love her videos, and she's an awesome person. Anyways, it was her birthday, so she was having a bunch of random people just popping in on her live, saying hello and stuff, and she was opening presents, and um, she had sent the link to me, and I was like, I don't know if I'll come, blah, blah, blah. And then I was watching it, and I was caught in the comments, and then I was like, oh, you know what? Like, I feel kind of left out because I'm not part of this live. So then I hopped on and joined her. That was a lot of fun. It's funny how me and Abigail are, like, very similar when in the ways the way that we act and stuff. Because Abigail Marie was there. If you don't follow her, make sure you check out Diamonds and Floss with Abigail Marie. So she was there, Grace from Gracie's Diamond Painting was there, and I don't know, it's just a lot of fun. It's so nice just like hanging out with people other than Clayton. Not that I'm complaining, but <laughs> he just woke up and he's like, yeah, you are. Um, Clayton is still here, surprisingly. So if you guys were just joining me, um, Clayton was supposed to go last Wednesday to work. Was it last Wednesday? I don't know. Last Wednesday to work, but then he got sick. Maybe this was a different Wednesday. I don't know. And then he was supposed to go this Wednesday, but then um, he didn't go. And then we thought he was going on Thursday and he didn't go. So he's just the person who won't leave, apparently. I don't really know what's going on with his work. It doesn't seem very doesn't seem very organized but Clayton is still here and then when he goes he'll be gone for three weeks but who knows when he'll be leaving because he's still here and he's eating crackers and he was all like hey you got me white cheddar crackers I like the cheddar ones I was like don't eat them then put them back on the shelf but yeah he's still here so Clayton Crayon is still here in case you're wondering and I'm actually surprised I'm filming my whip and chat with him around because I don't usually like filming my whip and chat with anyone around. So there's that. You're welcome. I'm filming this whip and chat for you guys. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, let's see what else. If you didn't watch my floss tube, I finished one of my stitchy projects. I'm going to get it framed and people in the comments were like, don't change it because I was really unhappy with how it looked. Um, let's see. Let's do this symbol next. I was unhappy with the color I used in the rabbits. Okay, so I just realized. Oh, no. I have some drills left over here, so let's put them somewhere else. We put them here. This is what I do when I have drills left over. If I spill a couple drills, I always find where they are on the rest of the canvas that I'm not working on, and then I'll put them down. So I'm gonna put them down here. I don't know if you guys can see, but that's where they'll go. Um, yeah, so what was I talking about? I don't even remember. Clayton, what was I talking about? He said, who knows? Useless, he's totally useless. Um, I don't remember what I was talking about before this, honestly, sorry. I lost my train of thought. If you're hearing that, it is just a garage. And this, oh, framing my floss tube thing. So yeah, I was unhappy with how I did added in the highlights of the rabbits because 
rabbits underneath a mushroom and I felt like they looked like calico cats sort of but I called them junkyard cats because I didn't know that's calico cats was a term for them till I googled it um so yeah I'm gonna leave it leave them as is and then just get a frame for them like I'm not gonna be like super pro and like have a a specific framing company frame it or anything like that because it is like my first finish in a very long time so I'm gonna do that and then I know you guys probably don't care about my floss tube so I'll save all the stitchy news for my next floss tube I post floss tubes every Wednesday so if you are into cross stitch I'd love it if you checked out my cross stitch videos even if you're not into cross stitch you should watch them and then maybe I can enab enable you into being into cross stitch who knows uh, Abigail Marie also opened her own shop she's selling cross stitch project bags and she is selling wax diamond painting wax I have an order from her I still have to unbox it maybe that's what I'll do on Saturday for tomorrow's video I'll do an unboxing of small business stuff um, she also is selling Ada fabric so for cross stitch so she's really into cross stitch as well I think I enabled her she likes to blame me for a lot of things pretty sure I'm one of the people to blame for her cross stitch obsession um but yeah and my Etsy shop for those who have been asking I know it says opening sometime in September and it's October like mid-October already but I will be opening it soon I'm just finishing up some new products that I want to launch or to put in my shop and that will be open again soon I don't know when probably in the next week or so and if you didn't know I have an Etsy shop link in bio you can get email notified when it is back from vacation. If you go to it, you just plug in your email address. And um, what else happened this week? Not a whole lot of stuff happened. Not a whole lot. I'm excited for my tattoo, except I hate getting tattooed. And every time I get tattooed, I'm always like, I'm never getting tattooed again. But it's I'm going to get this cat tattooed because I already put a deposit down and I'm really excited for it and it's super cute I wish I could show you guys but it is on my phone maybe I'll put up a picture right here if I remember if I don't remember I'm sorry sorry I'm sorry um, what else what else what else do I have to say yeah, we had a long weekend. That was really nice. I enjoyed Thanksgiving, even though it's like probably the worst holiday to celebrate or one of the worst ones because colonization, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but it was it was good. And Clayton didn't come because he's a loser. And just kidding. Um, but he wasn't there, so I brought him cake and I brought him a plate of leftovers. And I. Th I think I would have ate that whole like I brought him like a quarter of the cake and literally I think that I could have eaten that whole thing I could have eaten that whole thing but I didn't I didn't I got a new nose hose new nose hose for my CPAP machine I had one of those nose pillow things and literally it was like it would move during the night and then make like an, an air sound and it would wake Clayton up so I got a new one that just goes over my entire nose it's so sexy it's so attractive guys I wish I could show you a picture just kidding I'll never show anyone a picture of it um it just like is like weird headgear to wear and oh I guess I should announce so if you watched last week's whip and chat I did a I embedded because secret I embedded a thing in my whip and chat that talked about um, doing a giveaway so I did a contest for an Oraloa canvas so Oraloa graciously gave me a canvas to do a giveaway with and so I embedded that in the whip and chat and all you had to do was comment in the comment in the comments and say some like a say a comment that had the word cat in it c-a-t hey everyone so i'm just picking my winner for the youtube contest if you watched my last video i my last whip and chat i did a contest to win an oraloa canvas it's going to be a round canvas and all you had to do was comment with the word cat so let's put in the youtube url here 
and then we'll filter duplicate users based on a text. We'll use the word cat and then we'll get YouTube comments. So there's 55 unique comments. Three, two, one. Katrina, I like that diamond painting a lot. Does the cat have glow eyes? Congratulations, Katrina. That's so awesome. I'm so glad you won. So Katrina Voschel is a winner. I will comment on your thingy, on your com I'll comment on your comment and then just make sure you email me with your mailing address, etc. So congratulations, Christina, Katrina, Christina, Katrina. <laughs> congratulations, Katrina. After boot camp today, I went to the grocery store and I got stuff to make nachos. So we're gonna eat nachos tonight. I got guacamole and salsa. Oh my God, so freaking good. And I got cheese to melt on top of it. I'm really excited. I'm excited. I think like you can make nachos in an air fryer, but I feel like that might be a lot of work but I feel like maybe they'll be really good. I don't know. Maybe we'll try to make them in the air fryer, but maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Life is so hard. Life is so hard. Um, I do have a bunch of stuff coming to my channel. So I do have another Oraloa unboxing and it's a square kit. So those of you who have been asking, like, have you tried the squares from Oraloa? I have not. I do have a square kit. Um, but I know that since I ordered that kit, like it's been sitting there for a while now, a couple, a few weeks since I ordered that kit, I know they have changed their drills or something like that. So my kit might not be the best version to test out, but I am, I'll still do a unboxing of it and I will maybe do like the corner of it or something so we can test out the quality of the square drills. I'm very excited about my Oraloa canvases. I have another Hanalin on the way. They uh, So the past Hanalin that I unboxed this week, uh, they actually sent that, or I bought that. And then this one that is coming, I think I got Hanalin the mermaid one. I can't say for sure. I don't remember which one I chose, but they are sending me that one I didn't pay for. it. They're just sending it to me to share with you guys. So Orlo is like really nice and their customer service, according to a bunch of people are like their customer service apparently is amazing. So that's exciting. If you do want to get an Oraloa canvas, I am an ambassador and you can use the code BEVB15 for 15% off. It used to be 10% off and then they increased it. So that's so exciting. I'm excited for all the things. And apparently if you buy an Oraloa kit right now, you'll also get um, gifts. I think there's wax and a cover minder or something like that that's included. So that's kind of neat how they have little bonuses. And the wax is from Chouette Seer, which is a Canadian company. They're based out of Quebec, I believe. Yeah, because I think they're French Canadian. Um, but yeah, so you would get wax from them and some stickers, I believe, something like that. So cute little bonuses. I also unboxed my first DIY Moonshop order this week, which is on my channel if you guys want to watch it. I did not, I specifically did not look at the other canvases because I only showed one canvas in that video. I didn't look at the other canvases because I want it to be a surprise to both of us. So um, I still have to film those unboxings, which I will do later this week next week maybe there'll be another DIY moon shop unboxing i need to refill this so i'm using we wax pool party laura anxiety art adventures makes we wax and if you're interested in getting we wax she releases it on the first friday of every month you have to be quick so quick fingers because it sells out super quick um but yeah so what else is new? Nothing much, really. I always find, like, I'm at a loss to what to talk about because I do Patreon vlogs. Small plug, I do have a Patreon. If you want to join, it's kind of mid-month, so now might be the time to join. Um, but yeah, so I do weekly Patreon vlogs, and I always, like, talk the Patreon's ears off. And then when I come to do my whip and chat, I'm like, I feel like I already talked about this stuff. But for the most part, like, I talk about way more different things and more personal things on my Patreon. So there is kind of an overlap, but not really because 
I don't know. There's just some things that I don't like sharing on the internet. Uh, well, to the public, I guess. My Patreon is still on the internet, but you know what I mean. So yeah, I always feel like I'm repeating some of the stuff. And uh, that's the last thing I want to do. Because it's not bore. It's boring for me. Not only for me, for my patrons. If they like watching my whip and chats too. It's like stuff they've already heard. Uh, so yeah, we don't know when Clayton is leaving. But he's here. And I'm kind of happy that he's here. But also, like I would like him to go free. Free into the world. Into the world of land surveying and stuff and pipelines and things so we'll see when he leaves and scruffy and zuzu are getting along a lot better than before i know that um i mentioned they were fighting a lot but now they don't fight as much zuzu's still a little meanie and he's still like bully scruffy but he's not that big of a bully so that's good that they're getting better we actually give Zuzu CBD oil for cats and I think that is helping him. Would you say it's helping him? Yeah. Clayton says yeah. Clayton's not wearing a top right now. He's topless. I won't show you guys because it's a secret. Um, but yeah. So anyways guys, I don't really have that much to say for this week's whip and chat. I know that I had notes but um, I literally don't know where I wrote the notes down. So I'm going to end up end up ending I was like I'm going to end up ending this I'm going to end this here I really hope you guys had a really good week tell me where I should get my tattoo if I should get it on my shoulder blade my left or right shoulder blade or if I should get it on my leg what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below and I appreciate your feedback and your opinions. And congrats again to Katrina for winning my contest. Uh, I already messaged her and I commented on her post. So, yeah. Congratulations, Katrina. And thank you again, Dawn, for my Pusheen and my ghost pop it, pop socket. That really means a lot to me that you took the time to send that to me. They're so, both of them are so cute. Seriously, so cute. Okay, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. And I hope you have a good weekend. Okay, bye!